love and shit Can I love it when you go crazy? You take all my inhibitions Baby, there's nothing holding me back Despacito Quiero respirar tu cuello despacito Deja que te diga cosas al oído Para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo Hey guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my DIY school supplies for 2017. This video, everyone always requests me to do after I post my school supplies haul, and I love doing DIYs. I love school supplies. I hate going back to school, but I love school supplies. So I thought it'd be a great idea to do this video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, if you wanna go check out my other back to school videos I've already posted, make sure you go check them out. They're on my channel right now. Just click on my channel, click on the videos, and you're good. And without further ado, let's just get started for the first DIY we are going to be making these bookmarks I'm going to show you two different types of bookmarks so let's get started you're going to be needing some paper clips I'm using these pink ones by Yobi and what you want to do is you want to take the paper clip and bend it into the shape of a heart for the first one this looks kind of hard but it's actually really easy if you bend it down a little bit you'll get into the shape of a heart and then you just use it to bookmark your pages just like that and it's really easy and it's really cute For the second bookmark, you are also going to be needing paper clips and little gems. Basically, what you want to do is take your hot glue gun and glue on the gems to the top of the paper clip, and that's it. And these are also another way to make some super cute bookmarks when you read a book. For the second DIY, we are going to be making a fidget spinner notebook for when you're bored in class. You are only going to need a fidget spinner and a notebook, and all you want to do is take the center of your fidget spinner and put some hot glue and stick it right on the notebook. This is a great DIY to spice up your school supplies, but also secretly play with your fidget spinner when you're bored in the middle of class. We will be making these decorated pencils, which you guys probably already saw before from previous videos, but whatever. You're going to be needing some pencils and some washi tape, and basically all you want to do is take your washi tape and put it right on the middle part of the pencil, and then that's it. This is a great way to turn a boring pencil into something fun and cute. For this next DIY, we are going to be making a Brandy Melville inspired notebook. All you need is a black or white notebook and some Brandy Melville stickers which you can get for free if you shop from there. And all you want to do is stick your stickers right onto the notebook and you can replace like any like bad spots you don't like about it. And honestly this just spices up your notebook so cute and uh, it's adorable. I love this notebook so much. If I got locked away and we lost it all in this DIY, we will be making some donut tab dividers. All you are going to need for this DIY is some paper, cardstock, a hot glue gun, and some printable or drawn donut shapes and a hole puncher. All you want to do is align the donuts to where exactly you want them. Remember, these are tab dividers, so you want to be able to see them when you put your, them in your binder. Next, just take your hot glue gun and glue the donuts to exactly where you want them to be on your cardstock. And then, once you've done this repeated with all your tab dividers, little, little donuts, just make sure to hole punch them so you can put them in your binder. And then you're all done and you got some really cute tumbler tab dividers. Next, we will be making this geometric notebook, and all you're going to need for this notebook is some tab dividers or cardstock, a notebook, and a pair of scissors. Begin by tracing out a triangle or whatever shape you'd like. I'm doing triangles, and I used a ruler for this, but you don't have to. And then cut the exact same triangle as many times as you think you would need for your notebook, depending on your size. I cut around, I think, 30 of it. Both colors combined, so about 15 colors of each color I used in the notebook each for the triangles. And then all you want to do next is just glue your triangles using your hot glue gun onto your notebook using a geometric kind of pattern as you can see what I'm doing here. You don't have to do this exact pattern, but this was the pattern I chose to do and I love this pattern. So I love how this notebook came out and it's just so simple and so easy. 
down to earth keep on falling when i know it hurts going in this DIY, we will be making a sticky note to-do list. All you are going to need is some cardstock, some sticky notes, and a marker of your choice, of course. And at the top, just write to-do in, in your markers. And all you want to do is, after that, take your sticky notes, and on each sticky note, write each day of the week. I'm doing Monday through Sunday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. And just repeat this as many times as needed. I did Saturday and Sunday on the same sticky note, but you don't have to. Then I took each sticky note and I put it on the piece of paper. And so then each day of the week, you can write whatever you need to do. And you can reuse this for every week that you have stuff to do. And it's just so cute and so easy to do. For the very last DIY, we will be making a pencil holder. All you're going to need for this pencil holder is an old candle jar, some beads, and some markers or pencils. Start off by taking your candle jar and put all the beads inside of your candle jar, and then you're pretty much done. You can stick your pencils in there, and they're going to stay up, and it's going to look so organized and cute. I took a pill in a pizza. Hey guys, so much for watching that video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!